Hey everyone, guess what car I'm working on? Mazda. So finally get to work on a Mazda. My other devices would take, it was kind of difficult uh, to do the recalibration. So I wanted to share this with you guys, how to do it with SmartSafe. So that is already been done. Yep. Yes, I want to perform. The ignition switch is on. I'm working on a Mazda CX-5. 2022 i want to read everything because uh first time doing one with this device on a mazda okay no i have not driven the vehicle yet oh calibration fail drive the vehicle to exit calibration mode go to do so my cost dtc okay i guess i should have now I have this sign. Okay, so I'm gonna take it on a drive and see what happens. All right guys, so, so that sign went away and I'm gonna, I just wanna record everything in case you guys have something similar or able to um, do it together or learn from this one. What I did right now, I connected my phone to the Wi-Fi as I was driving and I hit OK and I created a report. But on the actual report, it actually said um, recalibration failed. So now let's try to do this again. I'm going to turn off the vehicle, cycle it one time, turn this ignition switch on. I'm going to go front camera calibration. Oops. Okay. Dynamic. Okay. Okay. I do want to perform this ignition to switch to key on engine on. Oh, key on engine on. Okay. Communicating. Oops. Again, turn the ignition to the off position. Okay. 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 You see that? Failed. So, let me clear this again. That's probably what's causing the problem. Oh, I don't have the ignition on. Okay, oh, I was gonna clear this, but there's nothing to clear. So let's go back to from camera calibration. Okay, dynamic. Okay. Okay, safe ignition two on, key on, engine off. Okay. After the vehicle entering into calibration mode, please drive the vehicle to complete calibration. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I want to drive the vehicle. As you can see, I already triggered it. So I'm going to drive the vehicle. This is probably what I should have done from the very beginning. But this is how you learn. And that's my goal of doing these videos, is to help you guys not go through these things where they're just useful. By seeing someone else do it, I'm gonna put the phone down. So I wanna look at the road and Keep my eyes on the steering wheel. My hands on the steering wheel. So this at one point should go away once it's recalibrated.
I was hoping to do it on this exit, but I'm going to have to keep driving to the next exit. So I guess when it asks you the question, have you driven the vehicle? Drive it, don't press yes. Drive it because you're already, oh, there it goes. So now let's see if this thing works. And it's reading now, as you could say, it says 70. So, oh, and it's reading it. You could see I got off. Now let me test the other side carefully. Ah, it's working. I think you can see it on the heads up display. So let's see the right side. I wonder what people think when they see us driving, the app is working. What is this guy getting off the road for? Okay then, so now I get to press okay. So let me do that. Procedure successful, got it. Okay, oof. Yep, now I want to create a report. This is the important part. There you go, success. That's what I was looking for. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go back, do my post scan and finish this recalibration. Keep testing it on my way back. Um, but this is helpful not only for you guys, but for me, because I get to uh, see if I ever forget, because we just do so many vehicles, and sometimes it takes a while before we do the same vehicle. Uh, just go back in the video and watch it really quick. Very helpful. Alfredo here with Alfredo Autoglass. I hope this video is helpful to you. Mazda CX-5 2022. Recalibrate, do the dynamic recalibration using SmartSafe. Have a great day.